Hi, Gemini. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your 11 day forecast, July, sorry, 21st through the 31st. It's for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. And um, that's okay. If they don't, you can always check your other signs. Just take what you need. Um, if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, you know, just check your, um, just check the description box below this video. All of the information is there and, uh, just make sure you follow the instructions. Send me an email, follow up email for why you want the reading. Okay. So let's start your reading. Six of swords. King of Wands. I feel like he's showing up. Oh. King of Wands must be a busy boy. Queen of Swords. Four of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Oh. The Sun. Okay. So, the overall energy here is the Four of Cups. This is indifference to love. Um, and the queen of swords above that is your energy. So you're being quite, maybe a little standoffish to love male or female. Um, and you might not be doing on purpose. It could just be that you have other things going on and you're, maybe you're not feeling very romantic or, you know, maybe you're just kind of like, Maybe you're like busy with work, you know, something like that going on. The Queen of Swords, male or female, when in their element, is basically someone who takes on this energy of um, being a logical, self sufficient truth teller, someone who's powerful, intentional, quick acting, and, a, and has like a quick acting thought type of leadership abilities. And being the air sign, just um, kind of like not really paying attention to love. Uh, could possibly be someone who feels unfulfilled. But also the other message for you is to be prepared for some unexpected gifts coming to you um, during this time period. No, I don't know. You might not accept them or accept a gift from someone. Hmm. All right. King of Wands is really playing out here. This is a fire sign, male or female, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. So there could be a gift from a Sagittarius coming towards you or Leo. strongly strongly picking up Leo um, because of the Sun card here or you know you might be thinking about giving a gift to someone too I don't again they may not accept it right away but I do feel like there's a proposal of some sort a love offer A romantic love proposal, possibly marriage, something along those lines. The Six of Swords, though, is here, and I feel like um, someone is, is might be, you know, this is like a necessary transition. Whatever this, thi whatever this thing is that's coming, it could be relocation, moving, travel. This could be a fearful step even if it's a proposal, but it's necessary. Now we have an earth sign here. 
Could have something to do with work or finances or money. A new job. Um, just volunteer success. Trying to make the next step financially, taking a kind of financial burden upon yourself or some losses. Feeling remorse, grieving something. Some of you are just feeling up and back towards a fire sign, and then one second from a fire sign. And the fire sign is taking something from you. Someone is giving another person a gift of, um, like a financial gift, but that other person maybe wants or um, an emotional gift, you know, and then here comes the Knight of Wands. So this could, there could be communication here about this with this Queen of Swords because she's she, here, she is a truth teller. So I do feel like there's going to be some communication about what someone else really wants. They want that authenticity and that emotional connection. And here it comes, the Knight of Cups. Somebody just needs to communicate and say, you know, or talk about that and say, you know, either this is this is what I want, this is what you want, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So this, um, whoever's making some kind of an offer, like a financial offer, it just gets either turned down or delayed. It's really not what another person is wanting. Or, you know, you have someone in your life who is trying to, you know, either give you money or, you know, uh, it's all the same message. Either it's someone that you're with or it's someone outside of your circle trying to help you financially and it's not what you want. But the Knight of Cups, again, is like a proposal. It could be a marriage proposal. Something that needs to happen now to go to the next step, the next phase. Yeah, there's family support behind this as well. Um, this proposal. This, there's a celebration coming. <sighs> Some of you may be getting a proposal. Someone may offer you a ring. You turn it down because you're just like, it's not big enough. What, are you crazy? <laughs> what is this just tiny little thing? <laughs> I mean, look, whether that's right or wrong, that's not for me to say. But that's something that the Queen of Swords will do. And, you know, I mean, Gemini, you're not a mean person. <laughs> but I mean, you do tell the truth. And you know you do. So there is this possibility that you, you might be like, mm, take that back. That's not what I wanted. I want this. <laughs> you know, and you're going to get it. So, you know, hey. You just need to just just keep being you. Just keep being that truthful, honest, refreshing self that you are. <laughs> you know, I mean, you basically like I could just see you saying, you know, if if your love you're saying to the other person, if you love me as much as you do, I want to see the size of your love. And if you're giving me this tiny little thing, that's that is not the size of my love for you. And I would not give that to you. So I want, you know what I mean? And no, I am absolutely not saying that you're materialistic. Maybe you are. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not 
generally saying that i'm just saying that that's what those readings just i guess i'm having some humor um i mean you have someone who does care and they you know they are connected to money or finance like you know good finances or something but um i feel like if you're waiting for a love proposal or a marriage or you want to give one or something along those lines if you're male gemini you know that's the way to go that's the way to go and you know this may not necessarily just be a turn down <laughs> it just could be a delay you know like you know you might just say look i want to give you everything if you're a male i'm saying i want to give you everything but like i just need to get more money or i need to get or we need to go look at you know uh, fi our finances and things like that everything actually works out with the sun because that's joyousness and happiness and positivity <clears throat> that you know that card is material happiness it's a good outcome so if you're a male, you know, look at this is this is your female. If you're a male Gemini, this is your female. You make her very happy, bringing her butterflies and unicorns. <laughs> Wait, oh no, that's just a horse and a baby. And if you're a female Gemini, this is you know this is what you want. You know, I know I was saying I was just kidding. You're not materialistic. This is really what you want but you will be truthful, of course. And I feel like you'll you'll get that. Ah, uh, see, no heartbreak. Lots of healing, lots of love. Um, apologies, well, I'm telling you what this card represents, apologies. Recovery after loss, physical healing. That kind of thing. Um, you know, as I was saying in the beginning, unexpected gifts or there's apathy or indifference to someone during this time period. But I feel like this has something to do with finances, financial situation, um, you know, or someone's being apathetic towards you it has something to do with financial situation or not feeling possibly good enough. And then, you know, basically putting this person on the back burner and saying, look, this is me. This is who I am. This is how it's going to, you know, this is what you see is what you get. And I feel like your truthness, your truthfulness and your, you know, your honesty is what's going to make someone actually come towards you. And, and actually I feel like everything's going to work out. So let me just pull a card from the angel Oracle cards. I feel like your reading was short. Um, and I hope it's a good card. Don't tell me like deception or, you know, pay attention to the red flags. Because if that happens, I'm just going to throw, if I don't like the card, it's I'm chucking it because they're my readings and I can do that. And I really, I'm not here to please anyone. Okay, what are the messages for Gemini? Unrequited love? Guess what? Out. Doesn't even make sense. Because sometimes I feel like Sometimes you mess with tarot way too much, they mess with you. They're like tricky little devils. And I always tell people when they get a tarot card reading from me, like I will get a tarot card reading from a reader once, maybe twice a year. And that's bad business for me to tell you that, but I, that's the truth. Because if I keep playing around with these tarot cards every single day, then, you know, the devil likes to jump in there and throw his little trick monkeys in there and start messing with your head. And that right there, is a prime example. That's not even the right card. That's a prime example of what I'm talking about. So this reading was too damn good and I really didn't even need to pull that. So forget that you even saw it. As they say in court, erase it from the record, your honor or jury. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave your reading here. So guys, catch up with me Sunday if you want. If you wanna join in the chat. If not, I will see you in August.